Division Collision. So here we are, Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And when you come to certain markets, you better bring it, right? We got Disneyland around the corner. The UFC knows when they come to town in Anaheim. Oh, huge elbow! And he comes through with a big knee. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, that knee. big that knee. knee hurt him. Blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Great punch landed with so much power. Caught that kick there. Leg attempt here. Well, just like he drew it up with us on Thursday. Catches the kick. Counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job countering with that nice takedown. Great fight IQ, seeing that kick coming and turning it into his offense. Oh. Big knee lands there. Knee to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, man, it's a huge move to the body. Oh, right hand. Oh. They're going at it now. Good right hand. Beautiful knee. Strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice connection there with the ball. Oh, oh. He's start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Second round underway. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Top pressure being applied here. Side control now able to isolate the left arm, and this could be the beginning of the end, DC. He isolated that Kimura. Look for him to step over with his left knee, lift his opponent onto his side to try to get the angle to finish the submission. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Working on a guillotine. Oh, 
Was geht sie? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Escape. 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 He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And he's out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So, lands a double strike and potentially a critical takedown here. Try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh. Submission defense there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on, come on. Give him some water, give him some water. Listen, the strike's good. He's a good striker, we knew that. his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will. Oh, no. No. Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates on the crunch, taking for a right. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. And he's back up. Goes upstairs for an elbow. His double leg shot. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Under three minutes to decide this one. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough even be on the Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate.